Valentine 3D. Nothing says date movie like a 3D ride to hell. Axel, is he a little wound up tight, do you think? Yeah, he's a little wound up. <laughs> Axel's got a lot going on. Uh, you know, he's, it's, that's what attracted me to the project, is that Axel just has all these billion layers. You know, he's, he's the sheriff of the town. He's got to figure out who did it. People think he did it. You know, the relationship's not so hot with his wife. He's having an affair. I mean, there's just a lot going on with this. But that, that's one of the great things about uh, horror movies, though, because you everyone's always a suspect. Yeah. So you never quite know. And I'm imagine you're as an actor. Are you playing guilty? No, I'm not saying that you are guilty or not guilty. But you know, are you kind of like giving that little bit of well, I guess it could be me or it might not be me. You got to give just enough to keep it very, very ambiguous. <laughs> now, did, did, uh, I can't. I'm trying to remember because. I swear to you, I didn't see a lot of the film because every time there was an axe, I can't do that. I can't even, horror movies are not my thing. So, but did you do the, is there, it, with your character Axel, did he fall when he was running? Because there's always a scene when you're being chased by the bad guy. Yeah. Did you fall and everything like yeah, that? Yeah, I, I go down on the mine, you know, which gives the miner an opportunity <laughs> to catch up to me. <laughs> exactly, you know. I'm like, I, I, just, I just think that's, that's the favorite part of, of watching a horror movie. Because you, you know you're waiting for it to happen. Yeah. Because, you know, or you could be running 100 mile an hour and, the, and you know, and Harry's just walking and he's going like, to catch up to you. Please don't trip. Oh, he tripped. Or it's like, why are you going into that room? Uh, they go into the room. No, one of the things too, when you say 3D, people have this image of, you know, things jumping out of the screen, which does happen. But the, the most amazing thing I think is how beautiful depth of field is in this movie. It's gorgeous. I know. You put on the glasses, and it's just like you. Things are happening. Like you, you see, I want to. It's really hard to explain, but it's not just the 3D effects that are worth seeing for this film. It's not just the what we call Audis, where something actually jumps out at the screen at you. The entire thing is is three dimensional. Um, it was it, it was kind of interesting. I, you know, I had a nice discussion with uh, our DP, and he's like, you know, it's kind of like we had to go back to film school because it's it forces you the three dimensional element forces you to look at movie making uh, from a different angle because there's you know there's things that uh, that just pop out at you in rehearsal, and you're like, you know, what, we got to grab that, we got to make that come out of the screen, or we got to do this or that. It's just really interesting. Well, I would occasionally glance out of the glasses, and you <coughs> see, you know, you see the blurred image and so forth. And so how would you deal with it? Were you able to see a take after you did it? Was it? I mean, yeah, we had uh, part of the part of the the burden of shooting 3D is that you have a ton of equipment, and a lot of that equipment are these massive computers with terabytes of of storage space because they dump you know, the, the information off of the camera right onto a computer right away. So we're able to watch it immediately. You can choose to watch it in 2D or you can throw the glasses on. We can watch it in 3D as well right there. Do you think um, Harry could become the next Jason? I think Harry has been sitting beside Jason and Michael and Freddy for 25 years. Um, and he's just standing up. He's ready to rock. Yeah, I, I, I put him right beside those guys anytime. Great fun. Thanks so much. You bet, man. See you. You too.